Hi, I'm Marlena with Montech and I'm going to show you how to use an eye gaze bar to access your communication device. Um, I happen to have with me here today an accent, a Prankyromic accent with their look, which is their eye gaze bar, but there's lots of other brands, Toby, Grid3, Control Bionics, um, but getting started setting up the eye gaze bar and getting it calibrated is pretty similar on all the different brands. So I'm going to show you how to get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that your positioning is really good. The manufacturer will have recommendations for your positioning, but typically you're going to want to be about 20 inches or so from the device, and I'm going to want my eyes lined up with the middle to the upper two-thirds part of the screen. So you can see right now um, the two green dots on my screen. That means that this device can see both of my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Calibrate Now. And I'm just going to follow these dots around the screen using my eyes. Okay, and it shows me the results of my calibration, which is successful. So now, um, before I move on, I'm gonna show you a couple of other settings in the calibration. So by default, I had nine points that I needed to calibrate. If I can, track all nine of those points, I'm going to have a better um, accuracy with my eye gaze bar. If I have difficulty following all of those five points to get started, I can go ahead and decrease the amount of um, calibration points that I need to follow. It might decrease your accuracy, but it might be enough to get you started using the device. Um, if both eyes don't see well or don't track together, I can choose which eye I want this eye gaze bar to follow. By default, it's typically set to both. And if I need different background colors or contrasts, I can change that. I can also adjust what stimulus I'm following around. So if tracking that little ball across the screen is not interesting or doesn't grab the visual attention um, of the user, you can change it. There's a couple of different options usually built in. Some of them have an animation or you can change the color. But since I'm finished with a good calibration, I am gonna go ahead and close out of here and go back to my communication menu. So I'm going to, um, first I'm going to clear my, I'm going to resume my eye gaze. Now I'm going to select clear to clear my communication bar up here. Now I'm going to type a sentence for you. I want. I want eats fruit apple. Apple. I want apple. Okay. I want Apple. So I'm going to pause my eye gaze by checking on the pause up here at the top so it stops. Okay. And what I was able to do was I use my eyes to look across the screen, pick which communication I wanted to say, and then I held my gaze there or dwelled on that object and the computer automatically selected that for me. And that's something I set up in my eye gaze access. So I can show you a couple of different options where we can change how we select which item on the screen we want. So I'm going to go back into our eye gaze access methods and I'm going to go into the eye tracking settings. Typically by default it's going to have that dwell option that we just looked at but there's usually two other options in addition to dwell. There's one that's blink so I can blink to select or I can use a switch, an external switch. So I happen to have here just a um, a button switch that's plugged into the switch interface on my device in the back and now I can look across the screen but it won't select anything until I hit the switch. So let's give that a try. I'm going to look at finished, select, and I'm going to close this, select, exit, select. Okay, so I'm going to clear, select, I'm going to type that same sentence for you. I, I want, I want, eat fruit and apple. Apple, I want apple. Okay, and then pause my eye gaze. So that was just a way for me to um, change how I select items on the screen. You're going to want to play around with those settings and find which one is going to be the easiest and the fastest to be able to communicate as fast as you like.
This device, along with a wide variety of other devices, is available to borrow free from Montech. Please visit Montech website for more details. HTTP colon slash slash Montech dot rural institute dot UMT dot EDU. Thank <music> you.